Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I will talk about a very special person, that is Prime Minister of Israel Yar Lapid. Did you know that he is not only a politician, but also a journalist, a writer, a TV host, and a social activist? Let's explore his life and career with me. After his military service, Yar Lapid began his journalism career by writing for newspapers such as Mariv, Yedioth Aranoth, and Time Out Tel Aviv. He also worked for Channel 2 TV, where he hosted programs such as Olpan Shishi, Studio Shishi, Haolam Hayrev, and Hamishmar Hashishi. He also participated in entertainment shows such as Dancing with the Stars, The Millionaire, and The Chair. In addition, he was a writer who published many books such as Memories After My Death, Woman of Valor, The Right to Remain Silent, and The War Within. He was also a social activist who joined campaigns such as One Voice, Save a Child's Heart, and Israel Cancer Association. In 2012, Yair Lapid decided to enter the political field by founding the Yesh Atid Party, a centrist party focusing on the economic and social issues of the middle class of Israel. In the 2013 election, his party surprised everyone by winning 19 seats in the Neset, becoming the second largest party in the parliament. He signed a coalition agreement with the Likud party of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and became the Minister of Finance from 2013 to 2014. During this time, he introduced many measures to improve the economic situation, reduce the gap between rich and poor, support small and medium businesses, and promote peace with the Palestinians. However, he also faced a lot of opposition from other political parties, especially the religious parties, because he proposed that all Israeli citizens should participate in military or social service. In 2014, Prime Minister Netanyahu fired him from the government and dissolved the Neset to hold an early election. In the 2015 election, Yar Lapid's Yesh Atid party dropped to 11 seats in the Neset and became the opposition party. He continued to speak out against the policies of the Netanyahu government, especially on issues such as corruption, security, education, and health care. He also cooperated with other political parties, such as Blue and White of Benny Gantz, to create an alternative coalition for the Netanyahu government. In the 2019 election, his Yesh Atid party merged with the Blue and White party and won 35 seats in the Neset, equal to the Likud party. However, no party had enough votes to form a majority government, and Israel had to hold two more elections in 2020 and 2021, but the results did not change. Finally, in 2021, Yair Lapid achieved a major breakthrough in his political career when he successfully negotiated with other political parties, including the Yamina party of Naftali Bennett, a right-wing party, to form a coalition government called the Government of Change. This is a diverse government, including parties from left to right, from secular to religious, from Jewish to Arab. According to the coalition agreement, Naftali Bennett will be the prime minister for the first two years, and Yair Lapid will be the alternate prime minister and foreign minister. Then, they will switch roles with each other. On June 13, 2021, the government of change was sworn in and ended 12 years of continuous rule of Prime Minister Netanyahu. In his role as alternate prime minister and foreign minister, Yair Lapid has made many contributions to the foreign policy of Israel. He has promoted relations with neighboring countries, such as Jordan and Egypt, and maintained relations with countries that have normalization agreements with Israel, such as the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Morocco, and Sudan. He has also tried to improve relations with European and American countries and participated in dialogues on international issues, such as Iran's nuclear program, the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, and the response to climate change. He has also expressed his support for the peace and security of Israel and called for a two-state solution with the Palestinians based on the principles of negotiation, respect, and cooperation. That is the information about the life and career of Prime Minister of Israel, Yair Lapid. I hope you have got an overview and insight into one of the most important figures in the current Israeli political scene. If you find this video useful, please press like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you for watching, and see you again in the next video. Goodbye.